On Grenfell's top floor, death and destruction. This is how it looked inside the tower. Intense heat from the fire, reducing everything to ashes and dust. Living on the 23rd floor, Marco Gattardi and his girlfriend Gloria Trevisan, two architecture graduates who'd moved into the building just two months before the tragedy. The couple's final moments were recorded at the inquiry. Gloria and Marco died as they had lived, together, next to each other, in the corridor. In her final moments, Gloria called her mum and dad in Italy. She knew she was trapped in the tower, unable to escape. And at the end of her last call, after thanking her parents, she said, I just want to stay with Marco now. The two lovers were found in each other's arms. The final moments of Marjorie Vital and her son Ernie were also heard. On the night of the fire, they walked up the stairs of the tower and sought refuge in Marco and Gloria's flat. The mother and son died in terrible circumstances but had the final gift of being together. They were also given shelter in the home of Gloria and Marco, who did not know them, but showed them kindness until the end. That is a theme that runs through the tragic events of Floor 23. I swear by Almighty God. Forensic archaeologist Dr. Carl Harrison also gave evidence. He was in charge of identifying the remains of the 72 people who died in the fire. He admitted some ashes had to be swept aside, as seen in this photo, to make way for structural supports inside the tower because the building was deemed unsafe. But the displaced ashes made identification of the bodies harder. In this particular instance, were there to have been a, a, a highly fragmented body directly where that shoring needed to be put, um, our ability to reconstruct where that body is, other than to say it's within that sector, would be hampered. The final moments of more lives lost in the tower will be recorded tomorrow. Rex Martel, ITV News, at the Grenfell Inquiry.